everyone, Dr. Ron Capps, the naturopath. This is one of the tutorials showing you how to use some of the uh, media tools that I use on a regular basis. Uh, one of the tools that you can use is a tool called SlideShare. And what SlideShare will do is it will allow you to make an embeddable presentation that you can put up on your website, you can submit to other sites, or distribute through social media. Uh, SlideShare is located at slideshare.net and many of you have probably seen the little symbol and seen slide shares around and what I'm going to do today is show you how you can go on in uh, I'm not going to go through the minutia of how to register for an account that is pretty straightforward uh, but when you get to slide share what you can do is if you have a file and you want to upload it all you have to do is go in and click on upload and then you can upload one or more files and you can upload it publicly or privately. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go and I'm going to find a file from a presentation I've done involving uh, blog nets and part of the economy of action guide. You can view this as kind of a, a precursor to some of the things you'll find in social media dominoes. And this particular presentation is not a current presentation, so some of the material in it may be dated, but it is still overall a very valuable and useful concept, and the tools in it and processes still function quite well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it, I want to upload it publicly, and I'm only going to upload the one file right now, and we're going to go on in and I'm going to pick it up off of the computer and we're going to go find it on uh, okay the pro drive and let's go on in and let's see where we have it here under economy of action guide files and niche prop blog net I tell it I want to open it and we'll go on in and this is you put your description here portions of the economy of action guide to distribute across blog networks. Okay, uh, tags, we're going to call it social media. Um, and we'll call it social media strategy. and social media marketing and put in your brand put in your name put in blog networks and we're going to call that good and choose a category we're going to put that into education and do I want to allow the file to be downloaded uh, in this case I think I will because uh, if you do that you're going to give yourself the possibility of having people share it with other people uh, going viral just make sure that you have information on the PowerPoint uh, that you're adding to SlideShare so that they know what the source is uh, have appropriate copywriting material uh, on the front to label it for yourself and now we have it 100% it uploaded your file is queued for conversion meanwhile I can add details and save okay it is all done and we should be able to go back in there a little bit later and see where we are with that PowerPoint presentation in the meantime let's go on over and take a look at in a new tab what you can do with SlideShare as far as finding material that you may want to use 
let's go in and let's say that we want to take a look at uh, Google Plus, which is very popular right now. And we search, and it will bring up for us facts, hacks, things related to Google. I'm not seeing a lot right here on Google Plus itself. So let us try Google Plus and see if we get anything that way. Here we go. Google Plus is here. Here's a visual guide to circles in Google. And if you go on in, you can take a look. And you'll see that it is going to load a presentation here that you have the ability to share on LinkShare, Facebook, Twitter, or obviously with Google. This presentation was done by Ross Mayfield. You can see comments below uh, that people have given his feedback toward the presentation. You can either go through the presentation at 17 uh, slides, or you can click on that to expand it to full screen. And you'll be able to do these things with your own video uh, or your own SlideShare presentation after you've done those. Okay, let's go back and see if ours is rendered yet. Uh, let's take a look and let's see a uh, file is currently being converted. Okay, so when we get done, you'll be able to go back and you'll be able to see where that uh, file is up. I'll go ahead and I will also add it online. One thing I want you to notice, though, with this particular video or slide share, uh, they've also included a YouTube video inside. So not only are they giving you a presentation, but they've also embedded a Google or YouTube video in that is being uh, embedded right here, and that will play back. Actually, that's a pretty uh, nice example of the way to integrate video. I do have a question, though, about whether or not they had the rights to use that video. Uh, that's one thing you always need to be concerned with when it comes to copyright. But uh, that is a video that if you're wanting to know how circles work within Google+, uh, gives you a nice overview. And then you can go on with the rest of the presentation. Now, if you like this presentation, you can share it with your friends. You can embed it on your own website or blog uh, and distribute it. You can download it. You can mark it as a favorite. You can create it into Zipcast, which is a, uh, a share, slide share presentation uh, like a webinar that you can do across the web. Uh, there are all kinds of things to do with SlideShare. So if you're members of the professionals directory or members of social media dominoes or the School of Social Marketing, I want you to be a little better informed on how to use SlideShare and why it can become a critical part of your online social media branding strategy, social distribution strategy, and building of your credibility. Okay, gang, we're going to take one more look to see if it is up yet. It is currently up. We can go on in now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to expand it to full screen. And this is the uh, SlideShare presentation we just put up. As you can see, this is a 2008-2009 uh, presentation I did on how to promote yourself and your colleagues using blog nets. And you go on through. Build a little credibility early on, some of the products. And then if I wanted to share it directly from here, easy enough to do. You can embed it. You can use the URL. Okay. So glad we got that up there in time. We're going to go ahead and we're going to close this on out now. Everyone. See you in the next video where we're going to talk a little bit about 
uh, program I'm using to record this. It's called Screencast-O-Matic. All right, gang. Have a great day.